If you've clicked on this video, then you've most likely set a goal to lose fat this year. There are so many misconceptions on how to lose fat, how to gain muscle, maintain muscle while losing fat, or just simply burning fat off. Belly fat is really easy to gain, and to lose it is even harder. Let's get straight into it. So, fat loss. Well, there are a lot of myths out there. There are a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings. One of the myths is that you can actually spot reduce fat. A lot of people, they want to lose the fat around the belly, the belly fat, the haunted area of the body, which a lot of people despise, and they want to get rid of that, which is a really good goal to set. It will uh, drastically improve your physique. However, it is important to know that you cannot lose fat in one specific area. Another myth is that if you train abs, you will lose belly fat. Now, like I mentioned before, you cannot spot to lose fat. So even let's say you do 2000 crunches a day, you will still not get six pack abs. The thing to understand about fat loss is that to be able to lose weight or burn fat off is that you have to, that you have to burn more calories than you consume per day. You would have to train all day to be able to burn enough to be able to get rid of the fat which is why in this case, we count our calories, we trace our micronutrients, and we do cardio all at the same time. If you want to lose fat, there is no other way around being in a caloric deficit and exercising. Even if you do not exercise, as long as you're in a caloric deficit, you will still see results. But if you combine that with exercises, that's going to be a lot better and you will see even better results. That brings us to the kind of diet which you should have and what type of food to eat. But first up, let's talk about the diet itself. A lot of coaches will advertise against carbs. Some will say carbs should be in the diet. Some say you have to exclusively only eat meat. Let's just take an example. Let's say you're, for example, just trying to live a healthier lifestyle. You just want to maintain some muscle, but at the same time, you just want to get in better shape. You want to feel good. You want to feel more healthy. Well then I would suggest having a balanced diet. That having carbohydrates in your diet and fats are definitely essential and really healthy to have if you want your body to function optimally. Because you would want to keep your energy levels up as much as possible. Because let's say you work long hours, carbs and fats would definitely be ideal. And <clears throat> your energy levels, those are really beneficial. So do not cut them out of the diet. However, control how much you consume. This kind of diet you can have is simply high protein diet and a low carb diet. Now that the basics are out of the way, so which food should you eat if you would like to lose weight? Ideally, you would want to eat food that are low in calories. For example, let's say you're on a diet and you would like to have a snack. Well, cottage cheese, for example. High in protein, low in fat, no carbs, and it tastes quite good actually, that's what I think at least. And if you put a zero calorie topping on it, even better. What are the best times to eat this kind of food? And what I help my clients do when they work out, I always adv advocate taking carbs or consuming carbs for a workout because you're going to need the energy for the workout because you still want to have an optimal workout. You do not want to go to the gym and put in less effort simply because you feel so tired. You still want to put in maximal amount of effort. All right, so that's basically it for fat loss. So let's summarize what we actually went through. To lose fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to exercise, just go for a walk. High protein, but low fat diet, but still eat carbs. So since you bring down your fat intake, because fat is very rich in calories, you have room to eat more carbs. And that's all you need to do if you want to lose fat. Do you need help in losing fat or getting in shape? then check out my website or send me a message on Instagram. I will help you get in shape. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button, comment for more. See you in the next one.